welcome back. This exercise is called the bouncing ball and we're going to be creating a sprite rather than picking one. So let me show you how to get started. Well the first point is to go up to here and turn this from untitled to bouncing ball. Once we've done that we want to get rid of our sprite and down here we still go to the same place choose sprite but we're not going to go and choose a sprite we're going to go and make one so let's go and click on this and up comes this canvas now we'll keep the outline black and we're going to take the brightness all the way down to zero so that's going to be a black color deselect go to our circle and hold the shift button down and then drag and you get a nice perfect circle and it doesn't have to be very large that's all it needs to be okay back over here and let's change it from the generic name of sprite one to ball and once we've gone and done that we've got costume done we can go over to code and we're back in familiar territory so costume if we want to make any changes code is where we're going to do this right so what we want to do is we want to make the ball bounce so into events pick click once we've gone and done that once we click on this the ball can move in any direction to start with so we'll go over to where it says motion and we're going to go to turn and at the moment it's going to turn just 15 degrees well we'll change that by going down to operators and pick random and we can put it into this circle and we want it to pick any degree from zero to 360 so that's how it's going to start off it's going to move in any direction to start with then we want it to keep going until we say stop so go into control look for forever and now we want it to move so when we move we go back into motion and it's going to move 10 steps and the number of steps is essentially how quickly it will go so you can make it slower by making the number smaller or quicker by adding more numbers and then we want to give it an instruction that if it hits the edge it's going to bounce and we can use that so let's see what happens And there you see the ball going at a steady pace and it hits the edge and it bounces off and we have a bouncing ball. Okay, so a nice short piece of code to put in. I'll see you in the next exercise. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.